Autodesk Vault 2020 was already packed with great new or greatly improved features. As an example, the simplified and streamlined collaboration between Vault and our cloud solutions like Fusion Team and BIM 360 was something our customers wanted. This is recurrent at Autodesk, what our customers want. Autodesk Vault 2020.1 is strongly based on your ideas. Let me take some time to reiterate how simple it is to submit an idea for new features or improvement. Visit the Vault Ideas section of our forum at forums.autodesk.com. Sign in, top right corner, and voila. The product team meets to review top voted ideas and assigns status. Accept it, being worked on. Future consideration. Great idea, but not ready for implementation. Archive, no current plans to implement. They also regularly review archives ideas, just in case. With the 2020.1 update of Vault, more than half of what's new or improved comes from your ideas. With your request and the user experience in mind, here's what's new in Autodesk Vault 2020.1. For the enhancements to Vault client, Opening DWG files in respective CAD application. Remembering the selected item ECO in the list during refresh. Taking ownership of items in replicated environment. Showing multiple line comments as multiple line wrap text in the comment section. Allowing full screen for defined dialogue. Making force overwrite as default. Remembering or retaining the last visited folder when you close and restart the Vault client. Enhancement to the Vault CAD add-in, showing folder tree in Open from Vault dialog. Standardizing scrolling behavior in Inventor AutoCAD Open from Vault dialogs while using Icon View. Let's start by focusing on these three first. Vault will now open DWG files in the respective CAD application. In the Vault client, you can change the behaviors for the different files used within the Vault. Latest version opens the CAD file with the newest version of the CAD application. As an example, AutoCAD Electrical files will automatically open AutoCAD Electrical. A DWG created in Inventor will open Inventor. Save by version. This will open the CAD file with the version of the CAD application that was last used to save the file. It will link the DWG file with the solution from where it was created. Note that we support three releases, in this case, 2020, 2019, and 2018. Default opens the CAD file using the default application as set in Windows. As an example, it could be DWG TrueView. Refresh won't affect selection. When browsing the item master or the change order list, you will lose your selection when refreshing the list. Well, that's in the past because now you can select multiple items or ECO, refresh the list, and your selections will remain at the bottom of the first page. In a replicated environment, it is now possible to take ownership of only the item you want to modify. This is very helpful when set item is the main assembly and you don't want to impact the associated items. Let's move on with the other enhancements. Vault will now show multiple lines comment. When you check in a file, you can enter multiple lines of comments. Those comments will be shown in the Vault client under the comment column. Interesting to know, if you want to see the comment in its entirety from the main panel, simply add a thumbnail column. To improve the user experience, the find dialog box can now be resized to be full screen. It is now possible and simple to get the latest version of a file. We now have an option that's called working folders, force overwrite, that force getting the latest version of a file from the vault server. Plus, the setting that you choose will remain selected until you change it. In other words, the option is easily accessible. The selected settings will default until it's changed, aka sticky option. 
Again, to simplify navigation and enhance the user experience, the product team included the Vault folder view within the open dialog box. This will speed up browsing and finding valuable information. This might be my favorite novelty. There's nothing like coming back from a great weekend and sitting down at your desk and wondering, what was I working on last Friday? Now, with the Vault 2020.1 update, Vault will remember the last visited folder upon reopening the client. We might not have the cure for the Monday Blues, but we can help you remember your current project. As you can see, the Vault product team took under consideration your requests and ideas to not only improve some behavior, but also add value to our PDM solution. As a reminder, you can also enroll in our beta program. If you want to be part of what's next and help shape the future, sign up at beta.autodesk.com for access to beta versions of our solutions, including Vault, Inventor, and more. You can try them on, comment on it, fill surveys, participate in webinars. In short, you can be heard. Thank you for watching the Vault 2020.1 updates. Feel free to use the comment section. And if you enjoyed it and you think it contains valuable information that could help friends or colleagues, please share it with them.